What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So, last episode took a little bit longer than normal to get recorded. Uh, yeah, we were trying to make ourselves this arc furnace. And in order to get this going, uh, we need to have the rods that go up there, the electrodes. In order to make those, we need to have HOP graphite. Right. So, in order to get that, we had to smelt a whole lot of coal into coal coke. And then put that through a crusher because it's the only way for us to <laughs> convert it into the coke dust. And then we had to put that through a squeezer. And then we had to make all these machines. Oh my goodness, it took so long to get all this stuff done. But yeah, we have the infrastructure set up now. So uh, since last episode, I ran, I think, a full stack of coal coke through our crusher. And then into this machine here, we we're up to 16 HOP graphite ingots. Uh, was it? Was it a stack? I can't remember. Eight of those. Yeah, it must have been. No, that must be two stacks because it takes eight Coke dust uh, squeezed in here to turn into one of the HOP graphite dust. And then you got to smelt those. So, yes, I put two stacks of coal Coke through those machines. And now we have this. So we wanted to take those and turn those into these graphite electrodes. And I do believe we need three of those. So we need 12 of, the, of these ingots and we'll have four remaining, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's two different ways we can do that. We can do it through a metal press. We can put four of those on there and that gives us a graphite electrode with an integrity of 50%. I don't know if there's a way to increase that or we can do it on the engineer's workbench. It looks like we get a hundred percent electrode this way. So I assume this is the way we want to do it. And then later on, if we ever need to do it automatically, we want to do it this way. I'm not sure why that only gives you a 50% durability one. But anyway, uh, we need to get ourselves an engineer's workbench. And we also need to get ourselves an engineer's blueprint for the arc furnace. Now, I was looking. This is a fairly easy recipe to do. So it's just some lapis, some copper, some gunpowder, and some paper. I do believe we have all of that. Uh, I have not looked to see how the engineer's workbench is made. Hopefully... Hopefully that is not going to be something that is going to take forever to do. But yeah, let's grab some paper. We will grab a little bit of lapis. We need some gunpowder. What was the other component? Oh my goodness. Uh, uses on this and this one. And then this is one copper. Yeah, I think we're just missing the copper is all we're missing, right? All right. Oh, that's bronze. That's the wrong thing. That's our copper. All right. So back to... Well, can I remember the recipes of this, this, that, lapis, and then paper? I think that was the recipe. Okay, I remembered it. So there is... Now, this just says common projectiles. Now, hold on a second. Is there a way to switch this? Is like shift right click on? Okay, so I don't understand. Uses. Arc furnace electrodes. And this is common projectiles. That is not the right one. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to switch this or if we are in fact forced to use the other method for getting those electrodes. Electrodes. So they look like there is a two and the recipe for this says this. Uh, okay. That's where the problem is. I said the recipe on that and I saw there's two recipes. I didn't even check. So this one is the arc furnace electrodes. This is for common projectiles. That's the one we made. So we need more HOP graphite paper. Okay. Well, that is going to make it so we <laughs> need more of our coal coke dust turned into the HOP stuff. So I guess we should get that going now. Uh, in order to make the, I guess it wasn't coal that we turned into that. It was the anthracite stuff. Not this, this stuff. This is the stuff that you in this mod pack turn into coal coke. So now we got to wait for probably this full stack to get processed. Mm -hmm. So that's going to take a few minutes. So in the meantime, we can go ahead and make our correct thing and look at making the engineer's workbench. Uh, so that was one lapis and I think one paper plus some HOP. Oh my goodness, I wish I would have saw that to begin with. Yeah, arc furnace electrodes. There we go. That's the correct one. Okay, so now we need the engineer's workbench. All right, so this is made with treated wood planks, treated wood fence, and a crafting table. Now, I do believe we have some treated wood. Uh, How do you make the treated wood fence? So treated sticks plus treated planks. 
I almost kind of want to take down this building over here and use some of this stuff. We have a fence right here. You know what? Nobody's going to miss this. Nobody's going to miss this, right? <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, we'll take this guy here. And we need a crafting table, which we already have, and some treated wood planks. So now we should have everything. I'm almost wondering before I craft this. Actually, I'm going to craft it anyway. I'm almost wondering, was there one of those in this building? I don't recall there being one of those workbenches around, but no, it doesn't look like there was one, does it? Okay. Well, we didn't have to make the treated wood fence. <laughs> we could just borrow one and then turn it into this thing. I think we're going to put this in this house. I think we're going to do that. That is not the way I wanted that. Uh, let me use an ax. So if I put it this way, oh, that uh, do I want it that way? Now I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I want it up against the uh, the wall over here. I think that's probably better. Okay, so now we have that arc furnace electrodes, and then this, right? Whoa. What is it doing? Can I get... And we're back. <laughs> so, yes, uh, moving these things and trying to click drag it around, yeah, that ended up crashing the game, weirdly enough. Now, I was just looking at this. If I put all of those in there, it says we can make two of those. If I take half of those out... Yeah, it says we can only make one, so I guess you don't need to spread them around. As long as they're in this slot somewhere, as long as it has the resources, you can craft that. Now, we can craft two of them here, but I do believe we needed three of them in order for our arc furnace to work. So, yes, we are still going to have to wait for all of that stuff. Whoops. Uh, we are still going to have to wait for all of the uh, HOP stuff to be crafted. But for right now, I guess we can try... Oh, I was going to put them in there manually. I think you just put them here. We can just put those guys right like that. Yeah, and they do show up there, so you can see that there are the electrodes, which is kind of cool, but I do believe we need all three of them for this thing to work, so that is going to be what we're going to have to do. So uh, I'll wait for the rest of the cold coke to be made. I will grind up in the crusher and then put it through the squeezer. Hopefully we'll make enough of this HOP so I can make that third electrode, and then we will be back, guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead and made ourselves the other electrode that we needed. I got two of them for the four HOP stuff that I have. In fact, there should be one more HOP dust over here. Yep. Okay, anyway, uh, so we have the three electrodes in this machine now. And yeah, we can see them here. Now, I was just looking at the osmium ingot recipe, and it says for the arc furnace, if we put in osmium dust, we can get one. If we put in the osmium ore, we can get two plus slag. I assume we're going to want the slag for something in the future. Yeah, we can make that into concrete. I don't know. Is that useful for anything? Maybe not. Leaded concrete. Is that useful for anything? I don't know. I don't know if that's useful for anything. But anyway, let's try this out. So if we put one of those in there, so it uses a little bit of durability on these electrodes. Okay, and then there we go. There is our osmium ingot. So it says it takes 10 ticks in order. I'm sorry, 100 ticks. In order for that to be processed, uh, it says it takes 200 for the ore. So let's try putting in an ore here. So yes, we can do this. Now, I don't know what happens when we run out of power. Does this just go really slow? Okay, yeah, yeah it goes really, really slow. Uh, does that use the same amount of durability on the graphite electrode? Okay, it looks like the electrode... Is determined by each individual thing that's smelted the percent of how much has been smelted okay so we should get two of those out of here in just a second this thing uses a lot of power our water wheel is not really cutting it it's getting the job done like we were able to make the osmium ingots but we're not going to be able to use that long term we can't smelt like can we put all these things in here at once and smelt all those at the same time or does that smelt one at a time? I honestly don't know how this machine works. <laughs> I think I've used this once before. I see there's a lot of different bars there. I seem to think that this is per slot. Uh, yeah, it looks like each one of these, if we had enough power, it probably would. But since we only have power for one, it's doing this. And it did a partial on all of those. Let's just go ahead and remove all of these from here. Now, it looks like I kept a little bit of the bar there for each one of those. So I wonder if it just remembers how much... It's smelted per slot. Nope, those all went away. Okay, so we lost that. All right, so don't put in that much unless you have a lot of power stored up. Okay, makes sense. So now that we have these osmium ingots, we can take a look at the uses of those. I think we are trying to make ourselves a metallurgic infuser is where we started down this last rabbit hole, right? 
Uh, let's just kind of scroll through here real quick and see what we got. So the Osmium ingot will allow us to make, uh, yeah, the advanced combining factory with a whole lot of other stuff. These look pretty advanced. We don't have any of these uh, alloys and stuff to do this. So yes, metallurgic infuser can be made with one Osmium ingot, two furnaces, some iron ingots, and some redstone. Now, I think I had the furnaces in my bag here. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff in here that I've been crafting with. Okay, anything else in here that I need? I don't think so. Okay, so we have the furnaces on us, so we should be able, at this point, to make our first end, or <laughs> I was gonna say ender IO, to be able to make our first mechanism machine, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we are gonna have to figure out how we are gonna start powering these things in the future. We might do ethylene. That seemed like it was a pretty easy way, or the biofuel, or things like that. I don't know if those are locked out or not, if we're going to be able to do that. Uh, so that'll be things we'll have to look at. So we were trying to make a metallurgic infuser. So two redstone, osmium, two furnaces, and then four iron. All right, so we should have everything on us for this now. There it is, a metallurgic infuser. Cool. All right, so now that we got this thing done, uh, what else can we make, I wonder... I don't remember why we needed the metallurgic infuser. I just remember that we were going to make that. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's back up. We were trying to make a sag mill, right? We we're trying to get to this point for the sag mill, which means we had to make the machine chassis, which wanted us to have refined obsidian ingots. Uh, so we have to put that refined dust through here or put it through an osmium compressor, right? Was this the whole reason? Let's go back. We find obsidian, this stuff. Okay, right. So metallurgic infuser is how we make that refined obsidian. So I guess we are going to want to make a few of these metallurgic infusers. Uh, one for each of these different types of things to be infused. Because we can infuse with diamonds. We can infuse, I do believe, with redstone as well, can we? Uh, show all recipes for this. So yeah, it looks like there's a tin thing to infuse with now too. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can infuse tin with copper to make bronze. That must be new or something I don't remember. So there's a carbon one here. We're probably going to want one for each of these different types. You can do biofuel. Oh, you can make mossy stone that way. I didn't know that. We can also make dirt out of sand. That is another one I didn't know. But yeah, I think there is like three or four different machines we want. One for redstone, diamond, uh, the enriched, no, whatever that was, the obsidian stuff. And then I think there's also the one for the coal. So yeah, there's four machines that we're going to want to make. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, we want to get going on this stuff. So I am going to, uh, I guess I'll just put down our metallurgic infuser, get some power hooked up to it, do a little bit more research, figure out where we need to go. And then we will get going. All right, guys, so I set down the metallurgic confuser, and I was just kind of taking a look at it. It looks pretty much all the same. Then I hovered over this button right here. It says it uses 20 RF per tick, and it says it can hold 8,000 RF, I guess, in its internal buffer. That's what the needed 8,000 KRF means. Uh, so it only uses 20 RF per tick, which is not that bad. I think our water wheel makes more than that. But then I was thinking, you know, our water wheel is making power, but we're not storing it. We're pretty much only using the power on demand. Like if we need power, we just pull whatever the water wheel is making and then we run out really quick because the water wheel can't keep up, right? So I was just kind of looking at immersive engineering for ways that we could store power. And we got the HV capacitors here, which to my surprise is rather inexpensive for what it is. I don't remember how much power this holds, but we want these so we can start storing the power that our water wheel is generating and then when we need to draw power, it'll just be available. It's already ready to go, right? So it requires three steel, two aluminum, a block of lead, block of redstone, and some treated wood planks. All of these things, I do believe we have available. I might not have the blocks of lead ready to go, but I definitely think that's something that we need to do. So there is, I know we have lead in here somewhere. I saw there was a one ingot. Let's get rid of this. Let's search for lead. So we have lead ore up here. I don't remember if we can just put that directly through a furnace or what can we just, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So we can smelt that directly. So we'll just make a block of lead that way. We need a block of redstone. 
We needed the three steel, and then I can't remember everything else. Now, things have moved around because I'm in this inventory. It's right here, HV capacitor. So two aluminum. I think we have everything else. Aluminum. Do we have aluminum? Yes, we have the aluminum right here. Okay, so once this smelts down, we'll make a block out of these lead ingots, and then we should be able to make that HV capacitor. All right, guys, so here is our lead block, and then we now should be able to make ourselves as HV capacitor. Nice. All right, so there is that guy. So we need to worry about getting the power from the water wheel to this, and then from this thing to other places. I think we might be able to just put it right on, uh, right where the, the wire connector is, the LV wire connector. Yeah, I think we might be able to do that. So first of all, before we do anything else, let's set this thing down. So it doesn't say how much power this thing holds. Right clicking on it doesn't really show anything either. Okay, so that <laughs> might be a problem. I don't know. So we can take our engineer's hammer. We have to smack it on the back to put it orange, right? So now we should be able to pick it up. I do believe it retains what we've just done. Let's set it back down just to verify. Yeah, it is orange on the back. All right. So do that. Uh, I need to get myself a regular pickaxe. Otherwise, we're going to ruin our water wheel, and that won't be a good time. Where is my diamond pickaxe? Right there. All right. So we will break that. All right. We got both those pieces. Now, if I stick this right here, it is not gaining any power. <laughs> All right, well, that's the problem. Maybe we have to use these connectors, the LV connectors, go from there to the battery and then from the battery somewhere else. All right, so do we have extra wires and do we have extra LV connectors? That is our, that is the next question. Uh, oh, you know what? Blue is in, orange is out, right? Yeah, I made a mistake there. <laughs> I thought I thought I set this thing up correctly. No, I was just thinking about that as I was running away. It's like, no, 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 that's not right. Uh, let's grab this thing. That's what we want to do. I'm pretty sure. Let's try that one. Let's try it this way. Where is it? Can't find it. Too many things, too many random things in my inventory. There it goes. I thought we could do it this way. Okay, so now we could just smack this a few times, turn these all orange, and then anywhere we connect from that should be drawing some power. So now we can take our LV connector right there and our wire like this, this one, to this one, everything else is powered. And now we are gaining power in our battery. Now, if I remember correctly, the IF, the Immersive Engineering, is that what IF stand for? Immersive Flux, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, Immersive Flux, I believe, is the same thing as Redstone Flux, is RF. So we now have 70,000 RF stored up. At our disposal for all of our other machines to use. This one right here holds uh, 64,000. So we have about the same amount of power that's in this machine stored up over here. But anyway, this should fill up over time. And as we use stuff, yeah, we'll have power ready to go. This is going to be much, much better overall. Uh, I still need to get the power over to our metallurgic infuser. Do a little bit more research on what we need to make with that. And then we will continue on, guys. All right, guys, so we need to make ourselves some of the refined obsidian dust. Now, the obsidian dust you can get by putting a piece of obsidian through the macerator, which goes really slow without any upgrades, or you can take it down uh, over to your manual crank machine like what we did before for the copper. Yeah, you can put it through that particular grinder, and it will grind it up a little bit faster, actually quite faster uh, than the macerator does at its default speed. Uh, so we need to get diamond dust i do believe we go in here look at this look at this uh this one this one and then over to the metallurgy confuser actually what's the master okay yeah yeah so it says like diamond dust plus the obsidian powder any of these different flavors of the obsidian powder or we can also do one of the uh enriched diamonds which we don't have right now i guess compressed diamond whatever it's called yeah, we don't have the machine to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and make some diamond dust. I believe this is the IC2 variety of it. So I will let that last one cook up while we do some stuff over here. So we're not sitting there waiting on it. So yeah, all we got to do is put that into our machine over here and that should just cook it up. Now, I don't know how fast or slow this machine goes. And if it only does use that 20 RF protect like it's stated on there. But anyway, uh, what you do is you put the obsidian here, put a diamond dust in here. And that should do the thing. You know what? That is 
pretty energy efficient, I think. I was expecting this to draw a lot of power. Okay, so now we got one refined obsidian dust. Apparently, you should be able to put that into the arc furnace and smelt that down. Uh, looks like it is working correctly. And there we go. There's a refined obsidian ingot. So I'll go ahead and let the metallurgic infuser cook up those two. I'll grab the other diamond dust, throw it in there. We'll have three of those. We'll cook those up through the arc furnace. So that is pretty easy. Uh, the other thing is, though, <laughs> the only thing is, I guess, uh, for this machine, we also need the basic capacitor. Yeah, I was looking at that basic capacitor. I was like, oh, that's going to be easy. Yeah, it's not really. We need silver clumps for mechanism. We need empowered Restonia crystals. And we also need mana glass from Batania. Yeah, so these are things that we haven't done yet. That whole empower system from actually additions does require a decent amount of power. So we're going to have to look at upgrading our power supply. <laughs> I don't know if our water wheel is going to be able to handle that. Uh, by the way, this thing did fill up and it holds 4 million IF, 4 million RF. So that's decent, especially for what it costs to make this thing. That's a nice power storage. Uh, as I was cooking up some things over here in the arc furnace, though, uh, I cooked up the rest of our osmium. Yeah, it would burn through the internal power here. Like we aren't keep, we aren't sending it enough power to keep it full. So yeah, it would burn through the entire power and then have to wait for it to fill back up. And then I'd cook another one and it'd burn through that. So yeah, we're going to have to look at upgrading these wires here pretty soon. I don't know if we're going to upgrade to the MV or the HV wires, or if we're going to switch over to the Ender IO conduits, those would probably be the most preferred method of us moving power around, but we'll have to see. But anyway, uh, there is three of those things and we can just stick them over here. Now you can put them on top of each other like this and it'll do one at a time, which is fine. Uh, it'll probably cook up that second one Then we're not going to have enough power for the third one. It'll go a little bit slower, but yeah, eventually that will get cooked up. So that is another part of this thing done. I do believe we can make this tongue steel stuff right now. Steel, tungsten, chromium, and cobalt. Let's go take a look. Do we have all that stuff? I think we do. Uh, yeah, you know what? In fact, I am almost positive we have all the stuff to make the tongue steel, except for the steel dust. We can grind that up. So we need tungsten, chromium, and cobalt. Tungsten, chromium, and cobalt. Uh, chromium, uh, tungsten and cobalt. Yes, we have all of these things. So now I need to get some steel, grind that up into the powder and then run that through our metal alloy here. And then we should be able to get plenty of this tongue steel ingots. Yeah, we're going to need a few of them to make one of these machines. <laughs> uh, so that's something that I need to work on as well. Uh, all right. So let's see where are we at here. Yeah, there is all four of those. So we also need to look at getting these things set up. And it might be an idea to work on Batania. Uh, the, the mana glass, I think, is the easiest out of all of these things to do. We just need to start generating a little bit of mana here. So getting the living rock going, making a mana pool, and then start filling that mana pool with some basic amounts of mana. It doesn't cost very much to turn a piece of glass into mana glass. I see this is greenhouse glass. And that uses the camouflage panelings that we made before. My goodness. Okay, so we're going to have to make some more of the biomass, right? The biomass goes in here and makes four of those panelings with all these different things. Oh my, guys. We got lots of stuff ahead. All right, guys. Well, I was getting all excited to get into Batania once again and start making some mana. But honestly, I was looking at the length of the video and I think we have run out of time for today. I know. I know. You guys wanted me to do Batania today. Hmm. We'll have to look at doing that next time. Yeah, we still got a few more things to do because we're going to have to make some more of the greenhouse glass stuff. Well, we never really made the greenhouse glass before, but we made all the stuff that goes into it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to look at doing that next time. We'll have to look at making some generating flowers so we can start producing our first little bits of mana. Yeah, there's lots of things that we still have to do ahead. It feels like we've made some progress here. And then it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess we need to do this and this and this, right? <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.